Hi, I'm Dan Wormsley from Stracker Racing, and this is our new Dome S103. This is uh, the Silverstone World Endurance Championship round for 2015, and it's the first time we've raced this car, so we're very excited to be debuting it. Uh, obviously, a lot of interest in the car since we brought it here. Some uh, problems in development last year, but I think we've resolved, resolved all of those now. The car itself uh, concept was to design a very small uh, chassis uh, for aerodynamic optimization. So the, the canopy and cockpit itself is very small. Uh, we're quite fortunate that our driver lineup are, are all of similar size and uh, quite athletic build. Uh, that allows us to really optimize the, uh, the packaging around that. Um, and as a result, yeah, we're quite satisfied with the aerodynamic performance. It's really, we believe, uh, important to get as much airflow through the front bodywork as you can. It helps cooling, but it helps you cool efficiently, which makes you op uh, optimise your aerodynamic performance. Um, around at the back of the car, we've, um, we've got a standard uh, X-Track gearbox, um, double wishbone suspension layout. Felt this was a good way to go. We've had to redesign this from the start. We went for quite an aggressive pushrod angle in the first um, iteration of design, which led us with some low control issues however we've gone to a more standard layout uh, which has helped us now to uh, we feel optimize the control of the contact patch on the rear axle uh, very lucky to have some good technical partners working with us uh, the exhaust system here is uh, one of our partners Zerkatech coated for thermal management that allows us to run less heat shielding elsewhere it's a very lightweight um, coating that they have on the on the component it also um, prevents uh, heat rejection, so 30% better heat rejection using that coating than, uh, than we would have with other means. Um, rear end, we've gone for the lowest deck height that we could possible. What you'll see here is our, um, our high downfall specification, so there is a tail gurney, but the deck height's quite low. It gives good airflow over the rear deck, which is good for efficient uh, aerodynamics and a good stable platform under different aerodynamic loads. Uh, rear end itself, the diffuser was an area we worked quite hard on. Um, this is a car that's been designed to be very drivable for uh, various ranges of driver skills. Obviously it's LMP2 category, so we have pro drivers, we also have gentleman drivers. So this diffuser design we believe gives a good stable aerodynamic platform, especially on the entry of a corner, which helps the people who have less experience to really attack and push the car in, a, in all, all, all areas. Uh, one of the areas we were really proud of that was yesterday in Free Practice 3, where um, in the wet conditions, we felt we could really push on in both full wet and drying conditions. So we're, we're very pleased with the performance on that. The other area you probably notice on the car is um, the the front aerodynamics. There's a there's a large um, canyon that runs down the side of the car that really helps us optimise the airflow coming from the front splitter and evacuating that down to the side of the car. Um, that's meant that we've got quite a high nose. Uh, as I said, the the chassis was packaged as small and as compact as possible to try and optimise all those things. Um, it's been quite an exciting project for us really. We've had um, all the design work initially done in Japan and then the final phases of development run here in the UK with uh, technical partners from Straka. Uh, Total Sim have done a lot of CFD work for us and uh, KW Special Projects have done a lot of design work to introduce this new door system and headrest that we had to um, modify for uh, the regulations at the tail end of last year. Another feature of the car is we've used extensive 3D print technology. Uh, an example of that would be the dash panel inside the car. Um, this is actually a printed component, not just a prototype. Um, and there's various pieces on the car of, of the same uh, of the same manufacturing technique. Another example is on the top here, uh, a camera mounting shroud. This is uh, a technology we've been using with our partner Stratasys. Really has helped us to design components very late in the process and deliver them to the car very very quickly uh, and in a timely fashion so yeah very very proud of how we've uh, how we've worked together with these partners to do that so hopefully that gives you a bit of a, a view into the s103 uh, we're a couple of hours away from race start for the first time we're hopeful it's going to be reliable we've done nine and a half thousand k's of testing without any real issue and, and fingers crossed we'll be there at six o'clock tonight to uh, to bring uh, the car home in a good position